The 25th annual Connecticut Gay and Lesbian Film Festival kicks off Friday with flicks from all different genres, voices, and viewpoints. The event coincides with LGBT Pride Month and will mainly take place at Trinity College in Hartford. So to talk more about some of the specific films that will be shown is the executive director of Out Film Festival, Shane Engstrom. Good morning. Shane, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having us. So 25 years. Yes. That's a big deal. I know. So how are you going to uh, mark the milestone? Well, we're trying to do a lot of uh, big things this year, um, one of which is uh, actually bringing the closing night of the festival to downtown Hartford. At the, we're splitting screenings at the Science Center and at the Wadsworth Athenaeum. But um, the, the full length of the festival, it starts this Friday and it goes uh, for nine days. Um, and we're starting off with a blockbuster film called Cloudburst. Now we actually have some clips yeah. of some of these films, so uh, let's take a look at, you mentioned Cloudburst. So tell us a little bit about this film. Um, Cloudburst is, a, it stars two Oscar winning actresses, uh, Olympia Dukakis and Brenda Fricker. Uh, it's a funny film, it's sort of a Thel Thelma and Louise type film where they uh, escape to Canada to get married. Uh, and they, pitch up, they pick up a hitchhiker along the way. <laughs> now, Gaby, I remember was a, you mentioned it was a short film last year. Yep. And now they've made it into a longer film. Yes, and they've done a great job actually adapting it for the, for the full length feature. Um, and it's, it's a really funny film about um, a woman who wants to get pregnant um, but hasn't found the right man, so she, she reaches out to her college roommate who's gay, and he agrees to do it. So, um, but it's, it's, it's really funny because they, they um, decide that they're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, okay. Well, Christopher and His Kind is another film that's going to be shown, and that's kind of getting some great reviews, right? Yes. Um, Christopher and His Kind is, um, is a film that's about the, um, it's about the, um, the creator of, of um, Cabaret, and it's, it's, a, it's a film that takes place in Berlin, um, and it's, it's, a, it's a great show. Uh, I encourage everyone to come out, and that's on Saturday night. Now, the tickets are still available, and it's, it's a bargain. It's $10, right? Yes. Uh, most of the shows are $10, $7 for seniors and students, and uh, just the opening and closing nights are a little, little bit more, 18 and 15, mm -hmm. um, but those include the party. Um, we're having great parties, lots of food and beverages and, um, and music, et cetera. Now, you also added the Connecticut Science Center to one of the, loca the locations to bring it into downtown Hartford. Yes, we did. Um, we're doing that for the closing night on June 9th. Um, we're showing the film Gaby there, uh -huh. um, and the filmmaker will be in attendance, so doing a little Q&A after the film. Um, and then everyone's going to walk up a block and a half to the Wadsworth Athenaeum for the closing night party. Shane, tell us a little bit more about how you've seen this festival grow over the years. It's the 25th year. and how, Compare it back to, you know, in its birth. <laughs> it's really, it's grown by leaps and bounds over, over the years. Um, you know, it started back in 1988 um, as um, two weekend um, screenings and uh, over the years it's it's continued to grow um, we've added silent auctions we've added the parties we've um, added bringing in filmmakers it's, it's so much so much fun and it it's uh, something that everyone can enjoy and as it's grown obviously you've had to add the number of volunteers mm -hmm. in order yes. to put this whole thing <laughs> on right yes uh, volunteers um, are involved from August all the way through this time of year so uh, we screen all the films um, and we do all the planning it takes almost a whole year to actually bring it to, the, to life. Is it too late for folks to get involved if they do want to volunteer? No, not at all. Uh, if they want to volunteer, they can um, go to our website uh, or send us an, an email at info at outfilmct.org. Um, or just visit our website and there's a volunteer link there uh, at outfilmct.org. Great. And Shane, I did want to mention also you can head to our website, ctnow.com slash gayfilmfestival. We've got a photo gallery. We've also got more information there on the festival. So if people are interested in attending, they can if, go there as if well. If people want to see more about the history of the festival, they can also go to the exhibit at CCSU's Elia, um, Elihu Burritt Library. They have a a great exhibit right now of the whole 25 years of the festival. Fantastic. Great. I'm sure we'll put a link to that on our website to make it easy for everybody. <laughs> great. Thank you. Thanks so much for Shane, being here, thanks Shane. Thanks so much. Thank you.
Well, still to come on Fox Connecticut's Morning Extra, chefs Kevin Cottle and Van Hurd cooking up a delicious dish. So